guest is a beloved, best-selling author whose books have sold over 90 million copies in 39 languages. A film based on her breakthrough novel, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, opens in theaters Friday. Everyone, please welcome Judy Bloom. She is the one who likes all our pretty songs that she likes to sing along that she likes to sing again but she don't know what it means don't know what it means I'm so excited to have the Judy Bloom here, yes! I'm such a fan. Uh, when did it all start for you? You were making picture books, is that correct? Yeah, I was writing picture books. You know, I had little kids, so I was creative. I needed creative excitement. Yeah, yeah and what, so what kind of books? What would your books be uh, called they were about? Terrible, rhyming picture books. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> Imitation Dr. Seuss. Really bad? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Can you give me an example of a book that you, a picture book that you wrote? I could. Yeah. What? <laughs> you promise not to fall down. Yeah, Unless no. Unless you're laughing. I would love it. Okay, okay. Yes. So, um, this was called You, Mom, You. Not published. I've told my kids, if, it, if you ever publish it after I'm gone, I'll haunt you. <laughs> oh, my God. No, how are you? It's called You, Mom... You, Mom, You. It's about a mother who's trying to explain to her little kids that she was once a kid. So, it goes like this. You, Mom, You? You were a kid? Tell us, tell us what you did. Okay, okay, I'll tell you all. The things I did when I was small. I think it's I sucked my thumb, I loved a bear. One time I cut off all my hair. <laughs> no, why are you talking? Why is that? Why are you embarrassed? Uh, That's awesome. Yeah, it's you, Mom, and you? Not, I... And not only that, but I illustrated them myself, and I really do not have any talent in... In, yeah, and then, uh, but and I put them together with brass fasteners, you know, like we did in school. Of course, little brass fasteners, and then I sent them off to publishing companies. And what was their response? I got rejections. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite rejection was "Does not win in competition with others." From Highlight Magazine. No. Yes. Highlight Magazine. I never let my kids read that magazine. <laughs> never. <laughs> Oh, yes. my goodness, no yes. way. Yes. But then look at you now. I mean, how many books have you done? 20, 29 books? So I hear. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Uh, uh, Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. My daughter's reading that now. Uh, Blubber, Forever, Super Fudge. Uh, these are legendary books. Uh, uh, I, I remember growing up, uh, you were in a lot of trouble. You were, uh, like, you were banned, I think. <laughs> were you growing up in the 80s? Yeah. Yeah? You well, were banned. I think you were banned in my house. My mom ooh, ooh, didn't ooh, let my sister uh, read you. But she did. She did. She did. Oh, yeah. Kid, she did. Kids will get what they want. I yeah, mean, I think she, that's she all you have her... to do is say... No. I don't want... Well, well, I tell parents, I say, don't tell them these were the favorite books when you were a kid. Don't tell them that. They will not want to read them because mom is not cool. So this is what you do. You put them on tables and, you know, you let them Find look them. and you say, oh, well, I don't think you're ready for that. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> pretty... That. See? Genius. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a documentary about you called Judy Bloom Forever. Uh, that's out right now on Prime Video, and I loved it. And I'll tell you the part that I really, really got me. Uh, not only I have a legendary career, but you wrote back to your fan mail, and you saved your fan mail. I did keep all my fan mail, yes, and I'm notoriously... I throw away everything. Yeah. Everybody knows I throw away everything, but I kept every one of those letters. And you... It's, it's amazing to watch. You wrote boxes them back. And boxes you have them. But... I mean, you were getting... 2,000 a month fan uh, letters. At one point, yeah. I didn't write everybody back. No, I understand that, but, but you kept who, them, though. The ones who needed me. That's The fun. ones who needed to hear from me, I wrote back. Yeah, and then, and then there, are, there are two uh, girls who wrote you that are in the movie now. They're in their 50s. Or they, they, and it's, they have their own kids, and they have teenage their own kids. kids. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful thing. You, you have to watch it. It's just a, a great documentary. Uh, but now let's talk about the, the main event. Out this Friday, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. I is finally a movie. <laughs> I know, 53 years later. But that's my fault. That's my fault. Why, why is it your fault? Because I wouldn't sell it. 
You didn't want to, you didn't want to sell it. I didn't want. I didn't think that it should be a movie. Not every book should be a movie, and I was concerned about how it would be done for all these years. And then suddenly, like from the sky, came the perfect team. Yeah. And I knew it was. And who was the team? Uh, Kelly Freeman Craig, who wrote the letter to me and said, and uh, by the way, she said, um, I have written and directed a movie called The Edge of Seventeen. And I'm like, what? I love that movie. I love that movie. I saw that movie. Oh, yeah. This is, so what a credential, right? Nobody ever came to me before with such a credential. Really? And if that were not enough, she said, and my mentor is James L. Brooks. No, I'm a, James L. Brooks is a legend. So did, did they, did they uh, try to woo you? Did they, did they come to Key West? They and, did. They, they came did? to Key West very quickly. Yeah. And you know what I was most worried about? Yeah. What would I give them for lunch? <laughs> oh, what? my God. What of course, of Judy Blue, we were worried right? about that. Yeah. Right. You were so funny. You have such a great sense of humor. And by the way, you got to be happy. The movie turned out great. The movie is... It's, it's a dream come true. You're getting great reviews. I never, I never thought that we could do this, that it could be done. But no. Kelly and the actors are incredible. Yeah. You were Rachel. telling me backstage, you were saying that, you go, I think uh, I'm the only author that will say the movie's better than the book. Yeah, I am probably <laughs> that. But, That's impossible. But, I, but it, it is in, in this case. In this case, because it. it's rounded out. The characters are all there. I'm so happy for you. It's I want to so show good. everyone a clip. Uh, here's a scene from Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. Take a look. You hold your arms out like this, and you say, I must, I must, I must increase my bust. I must, I must. I must increase my bust. Does that really work? I'm living proof. Now come on, get up. Get up, get up, get up. You'll see. Get up. I must, I must, I must increase my bust. I must, I must increase my bust. Chin up. We must, we must, we must increase our bust. We must, we must, we must increase our bust. We must, we must, we must increase our bust. Shut up. We You're must so agree stupid. about it. Shut up! Oh, feel it working. It works. Ah! <laughs> Come on! Judy Bloom, everybody! Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Hits Theaters Friday. More Tonight Show after the break. Stick around. Thank you so much. Hey, hey.